there were many problems during the 1960s and 1970s in South Omaha. One of many problems was health and employment because families would work for cheap labor and could not afford going to the doctors. Another problem would include higher education opportunity because teachers would discourage the students by not wanting them to have a college education. Instead, they would want the students to work like their parents. Relating to school, they would also not let students speak Spanish at school. By that happening, the students lost their native tongue, so they would not know any Spanish. Reverend Navarro was a great impact to the South Omaha community. He planted the seed as an activist by helping the youth and helping Mexican-Americans with depression. Ronaldo Cervantes was a friend to and worked with Reverend Navarro. When I got involved with Reverend Robert Navarro and all the issues that he was dealing with here in Omaha, he was like a, a renaissance man. He, he was... Uh, uh, I, I, I couldn't compare him... He wasn't a, a fire, fire and brimstone guy. He was meek, quiet, but extremely intelligent, extremely articulate, and he, he demanded respect. Reverend Navarro began preaching at Gethsemane in 1969 at age 30. He did a lot of community work, like donations and fundraisers for the food pantry for impoverished people. He also pushed for after-school programs and higher education. Through his the Lutheran Church, the Lutheran Church was giving away a lot of scholarships to go to college. And the Lutheran Church embraced uh, Chicanismo, and Reverend Navarro, Robert Navarro was the titular head. He was the organizer, he was the inspiration, and he had a natural following. Two major community organizations founded under the direction of Reverend Navarro were the Indian Chicano Health Center and the Chicano Awareness Center. The health center was first opened in 1971. It was a place where the natives and the Chicanos could receive medical attention and dental care for free. The Chicano Awareness Center was first opened in 1971. The center was a place where Mexicans could go and not be discriminated against. It was a place where they could go and feel like they weren't losing their recognition and culture. The Chicano Awareness Center allowed the Chicanos to learn about their culture and was able to speak Spanish there and not get in trouble. A lot of uh, families, single, single, single people, men and women, and they live together uh, in a sort of like a commune, and they go out and work, but they live in the shadows. See, but some, they still have needs, and those needs are being pro provided by the Indian Chicano Health Clinic, the Latino Center. The Chicano Awareness Center was designed to provide a new identity for la raza, a feelings of, uh, positive feelings of who you were. Reverend Navarro impacted the modern South Omaha and his legacy is still living on. For example, he is depicted on the Plaza de la Raza mural. Hugo Zamorano was the lead artist on the mural. Um, I was an apprentice there and then so for the Mexican uh, mural they opened up a, a called uh, artists. Uh, so you had to be Mexican or um, I guess identify with Mexican culture really and um, and I got there was a board, they chose the artist, we sent in some images.